Hey Turf fans, it's Mr. Smiley here with another Terps Win B1G War Recap Victory. This against a level 9 random Korean clan. Uh, pretty uh, pretty solid win, not not terribly suspenseful. Uh, we did have a, night, a couple of close misses on uh, some of their Town Hall 10s. Uh, they had 5 to, to our 3. Uh, but the only 3 star that we had was Terps 01 with, his, I think it was his first uh, Town Hall 10 3 star. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Zoom back out. Uh, this one, uh, kind of a you know standard box base, except for uh, these little. Well, I guess he he did put in a couple of wrinkles here with these these walls that uh, that right here that are supposed to kind of funnel. I don't know what he thinks they're going to do. Uh, ended up really not doing all that much because they're they're weak and purple and and golems and a and a legit. Kill squad are gonna shred them. Um, so his his little fancy uh, mods to to his base didn't really do much, uh, as well as putting this inferno out here just means hey let's go out and kill that inferno inferno even more quickly than we would have otherwise. So uh, O1's gonna add a, a little wrinkle here with this earthquake, and he's going to uh, he's gonna drop an earthquake in the middle to soften things up. And then, uh, and then do the mass golem from the uh, from the northeast. So let's go ahead and, and watch it. Uh, and this is a really solid, uh, really solid, kind of guaranteed, almost guaranteed two star strategy for uh, for new town hall tens. And O one is a a nine and a half. So especially when we're outnumbered, we we definitely need to get the solid two stars before we start experimenting with some stuff. So this is a this is a really really solid strategy to do that. So there you see the uh, the three jumps spread nice and wide on one side. Um, with the golems coming in, you want to send the the corner golems in a little bit first just to create a funnel, and then send the middle squad in. Pop a rage for that middle one. He still has the uh, the poison for the middle one, and then you're going to put the jump there. No real need to delay them. Even with level two jump, they last uh, a long time. Uh, and you see he does have the, the level 5 golems, which uh, is, I think, his first upgrade. And uh, just kind of steamrollers through this base. So they, they take the jump into the core. A lot of times what prevents a 3 is trying to get out of that core and getting to that back rim. Uh, but as you can see here, the back rim uh, doesn't actually have any defenses. So once 01 gets out of the core... Uh, they're really, you know, and if he can take all those defenses down, there isn't really going to be that much to stop him. From that core, his Archer Queen's able to shoot down most of those defenses. He's got a couple of cannons there down at the bottom, but uh, that one golem is still up with uh, four wizards and a minion there. A couple minions for trash. Really nice, uh, re really nice tweak there, having a, a couple minions. Um, as you can see, the, the golem gets stalled there at that little uh, safety barricade that he put up. But the Archer Queen's just going to start shooting some things. Uh, there we go with a wizard to help her. And uh, there he pops the ability. That's going to eat up that, uh, that gold storage and, more importantly, give his golem the chance to get in front in between the, wi uh, the Archer Queen and, and the last remaining defenses. There we have a double giant bomb that gave us a little bit of a scare there. Uh, but even with that, that one last wizard probably would have cleaned up everything. Uh, it ended up only being about two minutes for the raid. So awesome, awesome job, 01. Congrats on the three star. I know we're going to see a lot more of those to come. All right, for the next one, uh, we're going to look at an attack on number 10 here by Turtle Power. And... Uh, Turtle Power is, of course, the, the master of the Gohova. And here he's going to add a little bit of a wrinkle by dropping the Archer Queen um, as kind of an... So, just uh, just to go over, you know, there, you know, we do a lot of Queen Walks uh, with the spread out bases at Town Hall 9. Usually what you're going to do with the, the Queen is you're looking to remove some double giant bomb threats. And then it, it kind of takes off uh, a chunk of the base so that it makes the hogging easier. Uh, with the Town Hall 10, uh, a lot of the box bases with the Valkgasm attacks, the Queen is there as a uh, to help funnel the, the kill squad into the core. On this one, uh, Turtle Power, because this base is so compact, 
And uh, we know that the a lot of the bombs and the traps are going to be on the south, but that's where a lot of the point defenses and the defending heroes are too. So he doesn't want to risk his queen there. So he's basically going to use his queen. Uh, he's going to drop hit, drop her pretty pretty early up here at the top, um, and then send his kill squad in here through through the core to take out uh, maybe some Tesla or some giant bombs there and the expos. And then he's going to send the hogs in. Um, and a very, very light on hogs. Uh, but that queen and this attack, because it's a compact base, and there isn't really opportunity for him to use the queen to, to remove the double giant bomb threats, she's, she's there more as an indestructible cleanup machine. She's going to start taking out perimeter defenses. Um, you know, she's going to walk around the base. And uh, at the end of the, the raid, if, if his kill squad isn't still up, his queen, you know, assuming he can take out these air defenses right here and that he doesn't walk in front of them so that uh, they start shooting down his, his healers, his queen is, is not going to be threatened by anything that survives this core dive right here. So if he can take out this core here, you know, she can take care of the rest. And with the extra 30 seconds from the Town Hall 11 update, time is not a huge factor for, for most of these attacks. So there you see he uh, he gets a nice lure with a giant. Uh, it's a dragloon with a wizard in there. Let's just go ahead and force fast forward through the for the poison. Takes out that dragon there. So he's going to drop the queen there at the top. Uh, we can go ahead and watch this. One. Oh, let's go to back to one speed. And there he's going to drop his shattered uh, two golem entry down there. There we see they very quickly take out the defending heroes. Pretty well, very poor choice to put them exposed um kids don't do that uh and southern teasers are you know once you know how to beat them are are not good options so don't do that either there you see a mess of valkyrie coming in they're just going to start destroying buildings he knows that uh you know that this southern teaser teaser there's going to be a lot of bombs there at, at the bottom so he drops the heel early takes care of three out of the four bombs we think we know you know they're the golems take care of a mess of spring traps so valkyrie go into the core and just start ripping up tesla ripping up town hall he's still got the king at full the hogs you know the small group of hogs is just gonna run around the base and start destroying things because most of the defenses uh, have uh are being tanked by the king or by some valkyrie or by that archer queen and the small pack of hogs you know they run through that heel that he dropped in the core but he's really not using any heals specifically for the hogs. They're there to just kind of scamper around the base and take out as many defenses as possible. And then once they get over over to the cannon there, they you know he loses a couple of hogs. But there we we have the last remaining point defenses are all targeting the Burger King, and so they're not going to target the hogs. He does lose a couple more hogs to those springs, but at this point there's nothing that is going to is going to jeopardize his uh, queen taking out the rest of the base that um, you know it's basically the attack is to remove as much stuff as possible so that his queen can walk around and just destroy everything and there you see at the end she is going to you know the healers are going to run over and uh, make sure that his healer you know his Burger King gets healed up and the rest of his troops are are healed up uh, and uh, beautiful beautiful uh, Kind of unorthodox queen walk, but uh, still, you know, really nice strategy. Uh, thanks for the archers. Um, all right, let's go ahead and go to uh, one of our best, if not our best, uh, Town Hall 8 attacker. We have, you know, that's not fair. We have a, we have several really good ones. Um, this one uh, by Fahad is going to be a surgical mass hog. So because this is a Town Hall 8, you don't really need um, the, well, you can't, you don't need a golem. Um, and so he's just going to come around this base and take chunks out of it with Giant and the Burger King as kind of the tanks. And then, uh, you know, like a lead blocker and then the hogs follow in and they're just going to take a chunk out of this base. Because you can see the, the defenses are uh, around the perimeter. Um, but there are lots of, of potential double giant bomb spaces. Um, so he's going to send a single hog in here for the lure. Let's get that drag loon out. Pretty shocking that there's a dragon in the clan castle, but 
Uh, all right, let's go ahead. All right, so we see the giant come in as a lead blocker. Level five giants, pretty weak. Uh, there he only needs one because there are only two point defenses. Sends in you know, a pack of hogs there. There down at the bottom, he's going to use the Burger King. And there you see he's going to use two giants. Uh, level 5 giants are really weak compared to 6 and 7. So you want to you know, err on the side of sending a couple more. Uh, they're still better than you know, just wasting your level 4 hogs. Uh, and there he has uh, some level 5 in the clan castle that are running through the, the area that's already been kind of... Uh, uh, where the, the bombs have, have been exposed, they're going to get into the core. Level 5 hogs just seem to last so much longer than level 4 to the Burger King and to, to Skelly Traps. Um, so there's something about, you know, it's not a huge jump math-wise, but in, in, in effect on a raid, it ends up being a pretty nice jump. So there we go with another in that east quadrant, or west quadrant. There's another heal. Uh, ends up just missing that giant bomb that takes out some of his hogs, but at this point, it's pretty much just clean up. As long as he survives the, the Burger King trying to take out his last couple of hog packs, usually, you know, on a lot of these Town Hall 8 hog raids, that's where the struggle is. Um, and they don't survive that, but he still has the Burger King up. He's still got a whole bunch of wizards. And probably, maybe more importantly, he has a couple level 4 minions. So as long as they don't send set off any uh, air bombs, he's going to be able to go over to the Burger King defending Burger King and take him out. Uh, I don't recall offhand whether he does that or not, but let's go ahead and let's uh, watch the defending Burger King, uh, you know, kind of confused, patrolling. He sees all this destruction going on around him. You know, is he going to go down and start chopping off wizard heads? Uh, or is that the the attacking Burger King going to get in there and, and get him? So there, there we go. We've gotten penetration to the core. Both of the minions end up getting taken out. Uh, Barbarian takes off a bomb. Fortunately, his Burger King is is a little bit stronger. Rock'em Sock'em robots in the middle there. Uh, and Blue Stacks pauses. Alright. Any day. So, we're waiting for the... Uh... Yeah, so, sorry about that. Uh, suspense over. Our guy wins and finishes off the clan castle. And uh, there we go. Leggy, leggy, leggy. Into the middle and uh, the, the cleanup crew just each gets to take their shot in the clan castle. So, uh, sorry about the lag. Really nice attack, Fahad. Uh, one of our Town Hall 8 superstars. So, uh, solid, solid win. So, until next time, let's go Terps.